Hello, a very good morning, you all. I am Lakshmi Narayana Gunta, PGT in Zoology at APMS and Junior College, Karbanja, and also working as Super 60 Zoology faculty at Super 60 Super also. Today, in our genetics, we are going to discuss the sex determination. The sex determination whether an individual is a male or a female. And the process of sex differentiation by which a particular individual will develop into a male or female sex called as sex determination. And this sex expression is governed by chromosomes and genes in unisexual animals. Uni means single sex. They have a single sex in that particular individual. In some invertebrates like platyhelminthes, annelids like uh, earthworms and leeches, both the male and female reproductive organs are found in the same individual. They are called as monoecious or bisexual or hermaphrodite. Okay. How the sex is determined? What is the mechanism? The mechanism of sex determination is four types and the first one is sex characters. The sex is determined by the sex characters. The primary sex characters include the gametes. Means if an individual, if, the, if it releases female gametes, then it is called as a female. This is a female. An individual releases male gametes, then it is considered as a male one. If an individual having all the male uh, genitalia, then it is considered as a male and if an individual is having female genitalia then it is called as a female sex okay second mechanism in sex determination is chromosomal sex determination chromosomal sex determination it includes the sex determination of sex by sex chromosomes the allosomes if a human with two x chromosomes then it is considered as a female and if a human with one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, then it is a male one. Okay. And this type of sex determination is by allosomes and a haplodiploidy type of sex determination, which we can observe in honeybees, wasps, and also in ants. Where the haploids they are always males, the diploids they are always females. Means take for an example a honeybee with 32 chromosomes, which is a diploid one is a female and a honeybee with 16 chromosomes is considered as male because it is a haploid one this type of haplodiploid is seen in honeybees and we will later discuss in our next list coming to the genic balance system which is discovered by bridges in drosophila melanogaster a fruit fly a fruit fly this genic balance system also we are going to discuss in our next lesson and this is the um, chromosomal theory of sex determination. Coming to the next mechanism, the monogenic sex determination. Mono means single. Mono means single gene. Single gene is responsible for the determination of sex. This type of mechanism is called as monogenic sex determination. Here in Drosophila, you can observe this monogenic sex determination. A single gene, a transformer gene, TRA gene, which is present on autosomes, play an important role in the sex expression. TRA gene is a recessive gene, is a recessive gene. That's why if it is a heterozygous one, it won't affect the sex. But if it is in the case of a homozygous one, means T small TRA, small TRA. This gene transforms a normal diploid female into a sterile male. This type of sex determination is called as monogenic sex determination. Coming to the last and most important thing is environmental sex determination, which we can observe in turtles, crocodiles, alligators, etc., where the environmental factors affect the sex of the progeny. Here, if the eggs they are incubated above 32 degrees Celsius, then it becomes into a female one. If the eggs they are incubated below 28 degrees Celsius, it becomes into a male one. 
and in between these two 28 to 32 degrees it becomes an intersex uh, before we start this chromosomal theory of sex determination let us learn what is an allosome what is an autosome allosomes they are also called as sex chromosomes they are responsible for the determination of sex that's why they are called as sex chromosomes here you can observe the sex chromosomes okay and the x body is first discovered by a scientist named hanking hanking first discovered the x body y chromosome was first discovered by Stevens and wilson in tenebrio molitor a meal worm heterogametic sex determination hetero means dissimilar if two sex chromosomes they are dissimilar then they are called as heterogametic means x and y if an individual ha having one x chromosome and one y chromosome then it is called as heterogametic an individual having both similar sex chromosomes both the sex chromosomes they are similar they are called as homogametic homo means similar and if the sex is determined by allosomes then this type of determination is called as chromosomal sex determination. The sex is determined at the time of fertilization but not at the time of birth. Heterogametic sex determination. This heterogametic sex determination is divided into two types. Male heterogamity and female heterogamity. Male heterogamity means here the males they have two dissimilar sex chromosomes that type of sex uh, sex determination is called as male heterogamity where some cases the females they have two different sex chromosomes dissimilar sex chromosomes that is called as female heterogamity male heterogamity is again two types that is x0 xx type of sex determination xx xy type of sex determination whereas Female heterogamity, it is again Z0, ZZ type of sex determination and ZW, ZZ type of sex determination. Let us discuss all these things one by one. XX, X0 type of sex determination. Then the karyotype is AA, X0 is a male and AA, XX is a female. What is karyotype? Karyotype is the picture of chromosomes of an individual here in this xx xy type of sex determination the males have a a x0 here a a means one set of autosomes from one parent and one set of autosomes from other parent one set is from male parent one set is from female parent x0 x0 means here one uh, sex chromosome is x and another sex chromosome it is absent that is a male and a a x x is a female this type of sex determination is observed in bugs grasshoppers and cockroaches mcclang for the first time mcclang for the first time he observed this type of sex determination in grasshoppers where males they release two kinds of sperms whereas females they release only one kind of vava here it is a male grasshopper the symbol indicates the male and this is a female grasshopper the symbol indicates a female, a female. the karyotype is aa x0 for males aa xx for females the male grasshopper it releases two types of sperms that is 50 percentage of the sperms with x chromosome and remaining 50 percentage of sperms with no x chromosome this way a male is heterogametic and whereas female it releases all the vava which are similar all the vava which are similar all the vava they have n plus x if the sperm with x chromosome it fuses with the egg with the X chromosome the resultant is a female and if the sperm without X chromosome it fuses with an egg with X chromosome the resultant is a male okay here you can clearly observe 
the sperm with x chromosome it fuses with an egg with the x chromosome then the resultant is a female if the sperm without x chromosome it fuses with an egg with the x chromosome all the eggs they have x chromosome then then the resultant is a the sex of the offspring is determined by the fertilizing sperm whether it may have an x chromosome or may not have an x chromosome if the sperm is having x chromosome the resultant is a female if the sperm without x chromosome fuses with an egg then the resultant is a male then coming to the next type of heterogametic uh, sex determination that is xx xy type of sex determination where females are homogametic males are heterogametic the karyotype is aa xy for the male and aa xx for the female this type of sex determination is observed in humans drosophila and other mammals and here the females are homogametic means all the ova released by the females are similar whereas the males are heterogametic means they release two types of sperms half of the sperms they have x chromosome and remaining half they have y chromosome here this is an x chromosome it is a y chromosome and let us observe this xx xy type of sex determination with an example it is a male drosophila and this one is a female drosophila the karyotype of male drosophila is aa xy here the female is with aa xx the gametes released may be half of the sperms they have x chromosome and remaining half of the sperms they have y chromosome female releases ova all are similar means they all are with x chromosome only okay now if the sperm with x chromosome fuses with the ovum then the resultant is a female with a a x x or 2n x x here on n and n plus x n plus x means 2n plus x x one set of autosomes from male parent one set of autosomes from female parent both of them they make a a x x that is a female if this one the sperm with y chromosome fuses with the egg then the resultant is a male karyotype a a x y here the sex of the offspring is determined by the fertilizing sperm fertilizing sperm and the maleness is determined by ay sperm we have finished the male heterogamity now let us move to the female heterogamity female heterogamity means the females they may they are heterogamity males are homogamity female heterogamity is a condition where the females are with two different sex chromosomes two different sex chromosomes we have female heterogamity this is z0 z0 type of sex determination first of all let us discuss this z0 z0 type of sex determination where the karyotype of the males in this type of sex determination is aa z0 is male aa z0 is a female one this type of sex determination is observed in moths and butterfly Do you know the difference between a moth and a butterfly? A moth always keeps its wings open, whereas a butterfly it keeps its wings closed. Okay. This type of z0, z0 type of sex determination is seen in moths and butterflies. And here the females are heterogametic. Here the females they release two types of ova. One is with a z, and one is without z. This type of sex determination is called as Z0 Z0 type of sex determination where females are heterogametic males are homogametic all the sperms released by the males they contain z chromosome only okay. it is a male one a male butterfly and this one is a female butterfly okay and the karyotype of this male is aa z z both the sex chromosomes are similar Or it is also called as 2n plus z z. 2n plus z z. The female is a a z zero or 2n plus z zero. Okay. The gametes released by the males, that is the sperms, all are equal. All of them they contain n plus z. Whereas 
the female sum of the eggs of a 50 percentage of eggs they have z chromosome and remaining 50 percentage of eggs they don't have z chromosome here you can observe the z the sperm with z chromosome if it fuses with an egg with z chromosome the resultant is a male one a male one and similarly the sperm with z chromosome it fuses with an egg without z chromosome the resultant is a female the karyotype the karyotype of the female is aaz0 this is z0 zz type of sex determination observed in moths butterflies okay coming to the next type of female heterogametic sex determination is zw zz type of sex determination zw zz type of sex determination where the females are heterogametic the carrier type is aazz is male azwz female and this type of sex determination is observed in birds and reptiles and also in some fishes okay and females are heterogametic the females they release two types of two types of vava half of the vava they have z z chromosome and remaining half of the vava they contain w chromosome whereas the, all the sperms released by the males are homogametic all of them they contain only z chromosome means a z sperms it is a male cock with karyotype a a z z and that one is a hen with karyotype a a z zero this cock it releases all the sperms with a z a z all of the sperms are similar whereas the hen it releases two types of ova uh, if the sperm fuses with the egg with z chromosome then the resultant is a male with karyotype a a z z a a z z and if the sperm it fuses with an egg with a w chromosome with a w chromosome the resultant is a female with karyotype a a z w or 2 n z w it is a female one coming to the sex determination in humans we have already discussed that is x x x y type of sex determination is observed in humans drosophila and other let us discuss specially this sex determination in humans sex determination in humans the karyotype is a a x y is a male a a x x is a here a a means we get one set of autosomes from our father and one set of autosomes from our that's why we are deployed okay and here both males and females they have 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes a total of 23 pairs of chromosomes are observed in human beings if both the sex chromosomes are similar then they are females and if both the sex chromosomes they are dissimilar then they become male okay. this type of sex determination males they have two kinds of sperms and half of the sperms they have x chromosome and remaining half of the sperms they have y chromosome whereas in females they have only one kind of ova all the ova they have x chromosome only 100 percent of the ova they are x chromosome they have x chromosome only a male with 22 aa xy and female with 22 aa xx and the sperms are 50 percentage of the sperms they have 22 a plus x and remaining 50 percentage of the sperms they have 22 a plus y and similarly a female she releases all the vava with 22 a plus x only there is no y chromosome okay the sperm with x chromosome fuses with an egg then the resultant is a female baby okay a female baby with karyotype 22 a a plus xx whereas if the sperm with y chromosome fuses with the egg resultant is a male child with karyotype 22 a a xy okay and this is the 
method of sex determination in humans let us finish the session with a few questions okay sex chromosomes of birds are w z z type z0 z z type x x x y type and x x x0 type what is your response yes z w z z type is the right option okay coming to the next question Y chromosome is present in cockroach, grasshopper, pumia, mean moth, prosophila. What is your option? Y chromosome is present in yes, prosophila is the right option because in remaining all the three cockroach, grasshopper, they, they show XX, X0 type of sex difference. Means Y chromosome is absent. Whereas Fumia moth, they show Z0, Z0 type of sex determination. Means there also Y chromosome is absent. In, whereas in Drosophila and human beings, XX, XY type of sex determination is there. That's why they have Y chromosome. The option B is the right answer. Coming to the next question. Sex of the offspring depends on the fertilizing sperm in case of birds, reptiles, Butterfly and the grasshopper. What is your option? Sex of the offspring depends on the fertilizing sperm in case of yes, grasshopper is the right option. Thank you for watching and follow me uh, on YouTube simply by typing Lakshmi Narayana Gunta. Thank you for watching.